You are watching Junk Wax Genius. It is the show on YouTube, my favorite show on YouTube, by the way, to uh, watch a grown man open old baseball cards and talk about it. I know there are many choices out there for you to uh, spend four, five, six minutes a day. I thank you for choosing Junk Wax Genius. Please do like and subscribe if two packs of Junk Wax is a, a fine way for you to uh, pass the time. Today we've got a couple from 1992. We're going to do 1992 Upper Deck. We're looking for hashtag weird eyes. You'll know it when you see it. And then we also have a pack of Stadium Club 1992 Series 3. I talk about this one a lot. Uh, one of my favorite series is Series 2. Um, the, the set itself is 900 cards broken into three series of 300 cards apiece. There's no reason to need 900 baseball cards in a series unless you're like trying to be as comprehensive as possible. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of guys that barely even whiff the majors, so a lot. But Series 2, better... Um, Better odds for, for my PC guys, Will Clark and Jim Tomey. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do 1992 Upper Deck. We got the Find the Williams promotion. We're also looking for, like I said, hashtag weird eyes. We have tamper proof, entry resistant foil. It's doing its job after all these years, keeping anybody from getting to the, the very precious baseball cards inside. And we have Bob Walk, a oh, checklist. I'm not going to read all those names. We'd be here all day. Matt Young, rocking the Oakleys. Those are back in style. Bernie Williams, nice card there. Marquise Grissom laying down a move called the Bunt. Uh, lost to the depths of time about why people would try to, to bunt a baseball. But uh, back in the 90s, I'm told that was a move that was not uncommon especially among faster players who couldn't just automatically bash the ball over the fence. We've got uh, Brian Downing looking very thoughtful on the bench. Okay, He's got a little bit of weird eyes, like it's kind of shaded by the brim of his hat, but the whites of his eyes still seem to be unnaturally white. They're not quite glowing like some do, like a Thor intensity, like from the Thor movies, but still. Uh, qualifier, that counts. There's Dante Bichette in a Brewer's uniform. Forgot about that one. Jeff Blauser. Nice. I love the horizontal layout here for Eddie Murray. Great card. Two hats, Eddie. And another nice horizontal shot on the back. Well done, Upper Deck. Nice card. We continue with Cecil Fielder getting <laughs> well, shoe shine, maybe, from, from the chicken. Nice card. Again, with the, the great horizontal layout. Uh, third one in a row. Beautiful. Mark McGuire. That's hot. I like that a lot. Nice action shot there. Andre Dawson, the Hawk, climbing the wall. Nice pack. I'm really happy with this pack. Got an Ellis Burks team checklist. Ripkins, Cal Ripken Jr. and Billy Ripken Bloodlines card. And we end with John Smiley. Pretty good pack from 1992 Upper Deck. We got Andre Dawson. Especially love this picture on the back of him scaling the wall. I hope he caught that and didn't just uh, come up short. That's awesome. Mark McGuire getting the big swing. Is he breaking his bat? That's a broken bat. Even better. That's gorgeous. Love that. And uh, mentioned old Two Hats Eddie Murray. I call him Two Hats because he always wore a baseball cap under his batting helmet. And we got Bernie Williams as well. Pretty good pack from 1992 Upper Deck. Onto the 92 Stadium Club Series 3. My hopes are not as high. At least the cards seem to be gliding apart instead of bricked. That's always a nice sign there. Jeff Conine with what I call a Bowman pick. Very little effort into the staging of the photograph. Another one from Alejandro Pena. Alan Mills just standing up against like a chain link fence. Oh, Bo Jackson. I don't know. We've got some competition here in this pack. Dave Burba. Bowman pick. Eric King. Kevin Campbell. Bowman pick. John Briscoe. Bowman pick. Greg Maddox, he deserved better than just looking like a mugshot. Half awake. 
Armando Reynoso and his mustache. Still, boring picture. Kenny Lofton. Man, this pack's pretty good too. Way better than I, I would have uh, would have thought. Andres Galarraga was a perennial all-star in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, now with the Cardinals in this picture. Chuck Knobloch would have been excited to get that one in 1992. And we end with Jody Reed and Daryl Kyle. Pretty good pack, all things considered, <laughs> for how things could have gone in a 900-card set of Stadium Club 1992. Um, I'm, I'm happy with this. I hope you enjoyed watching the rip. We'll have two more packs tomorrow. Please do like and subscribe if this is your jam. We are steamrolling towards 1,000 subscribers, and towards that, I'm going to have a giveaway to announce uh, next week. Uh, a little sneak preview. It's going to be called One for Me, One for You. You can imagine what that might be. Uh, but thank you for watching. Junk Wax Genius. We'll talk to you tomorrow.